Our next guests are two siblings from Boston who tragically lost their father to COVID-19 last April. Since then, they have made it their mission to honor his memory by getting a word that he completely made up into the dictionary. Please welcome Hillary and Jonathan Krieger. Hi. 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 It's so nice to meet you both. First of all, I'm very sorry to hear about your dad. He passed away from COVID basically about a year ago now, this time, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. thank you. So you're doing this for him, uh, and uh, just, okay, so tell everybody the story. Your dad inspired you to start this project. Um, the word is? Orbisculate. Orbisculate, which he made up, but you didn't know that it was a made up word. Tell everybody the story. Well, um, it turns out that back in college, he had an assignment um, to come up with a new word for a college class. And he came up with this word, orbisculate, which means um, when you dig into a grapefruit and it squirts juice out and hits you in the eye. Um, and other types of citrus fruit that attack you when you're not wanting to. And he liked the word, he thought it was necessary and useful. So he just kept on using it as one would when you come up with a good word. And so he used it around the house growing up. And you know, you don't ask your parents, hey, that word you used, is that in the dictionary? You can just think that's a word. That's the word we use, and that's what we always thought growing up. Um, and embarrassingly, it wasn't until I was uh, 23, and a friend of mine was over. We happened to be at our parents' house in Boston, and um, we were eating some oranges, and one orbisculated, and um, it sprayed, and I said that it orbisculated on me, and he said it did what? And um, it turned out that he didn't know the word, and I thought it's a great word, you should know it. So we made a bet to see if it was in a dictionary, and we bet $5, and we opened it up, and to my great shock, uh, there was no orbisculate in the dictionary. And right. It was incredibly upsetting to find that out. <laughs> so, yeah, what a, what a time to find out. And you look, $5, too. That's not fair. <laughs> No. Adjusted for inflation, Ellen. I mean, that's like seventy-five. Yeah. Now. Yeah. It was. It was terrible. He should have. He, and when you confronted him and told him that, uh, I mean, first it was it was hilarious, but that he made it so. So you're trying to get it into the dictionary, um, and how do you go about getting a word into a dictionary? Well, you know, um, we did some research. I googled it, and that I felt really covered our research. But my sister actually called different editors, and they basically said, you know. There are people at these major dictionaries who their full job is to basically scour the world looking for new words. And anytime words get used, they start a file on it. And so basically the more a word gets used, the more they track that. And the key thing is that it gets used sort of in context, right? So you say like the orange or biscuited onto me would be totally different from just saying, or biscuited is this great new word that I just heard the other day. Um, and the more it gets used, the more likely it is to actually become a part of a dictionary. And since you've started this project, you actually uh, had a lot of people reach out to say they've been using the word. Um, and I love this, while you're working to get it into the dictionary, um, or bisculate, I'll, I'll say it myself, or bisculate, you. you're, you're raising money, goals, there it goes, I'm, I'm a, another person, um, you're raising money for a really good cause. Yeah, exactly, you know, when our dad passed away, there were all these things that you have to do when, when someone passed away, you have to find a burial plot, and you have to contact the Social Security Administration, you have to write an obituary, go into the newspaper, you know, there are all these logistic things, and at the same time, you're going through the most traumatic moment in your life, and so it's an incredibly hard thing to try and focus on all that, and we were really lucky. We had a great network of friends and family who were able to help us as we navigated that, but we realized there's a lot of people who don't have that, um, and so we found this really wonderful organization. Uh, they're called Carson's Village, and they're based out of Texas. The guy who founded it is a wonderful person, and he lost his kid, and so he started this organization uh, basically to help people in the aftermath of losing a loved one. So, Anytime we sell that or basically a t-shirt or anything like that, we want to make sure that any money goes directly to them and um, we're really that's, honored to partner that's with That's fantastic. All right, well, one one of the things uh, is on your list is to see a, a bisculate used uh, on a window banner or a lawn sign. And I don't have that, but I do have a billboard on the side of the building here at the Warner Brothers lot. So here's what we're doing. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, the that only was, thing uh, worse than missing Ellen is having a grapefruit <laughs> arbisculate in your eye. So you can check that yeah, one off your list right that. now. Uh, we have to take a break. More with Hillary and Jonathan after this. We'll be right back. We are back with Hillary and Jonathan who are trying to get the word arbisculate 
into the dictionary. So in order to, do, to make this happen, everyone needs to start using the word in everyday conversation. So if, if you're watching right now and at some point you have a citrus fruit that squirts into your eye, make sure you say, oh my god, it was a, a, I, it, the grapefruit arbisculated. Or you, <laughs> that's the proper use, right? Um, anyway, Absolutely. everyone has to start saying arbisculate. Uh, in fact, here are a few people who are already using it. Hey, Hillary and Jonathan. I don't know if you know this, but in my movie Girls Trip, someone did um, orbisculate grapefruit into someone's eye. <laughs> hey, Alan, it's Jake Tapper here uh, at CNN headquarters, which, um, as you can tell, is still fairly empty. Sorry, I had a <laughs> grapefruit for breakfast this morning, and I uh, orbisculated. <laughs> anyway, hope you're doing well. Yeah, the problem with you know, making yourself a drink that has some kind of like um, twist of lemon in it is the risk is it, that the lemon could orbisculate, you know, into your eye. It, it, and uh, that's, you yeah, know, that always causes you to kind of do that. <laughs> this, is, this is like a good reaction of orbisculation. And so I top with a gin, and then I put some of these beautiful corn shoots, and we finish with a lemon, a lime, and a citrus. Hey, remember, you can always be or risculated by a lemon. <laughs> That's what, amazing. Huh. Or risculation or not, this is great. <laughs> wow. That's fantastic. Oh my God. I say it's going to catch on, a biscuit. It, it, it makes sense. Your dad was right. I hate <laughs> one, one more thing. I know that you're raising money for Carson's Village. Our friends at Shutterfly care about supporting incredible organizations like that. So they're giving Carson's Village a check for $5,000 in memory of oh, your wow. father. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's so wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Go to our website to find out more about Project Obisculate and to sign the petition to get it in the dictionary. I want to thank Lauren Graham, Giveon. I thank all of you for watching. I feel the love in this room. I send it back to you. Go out and spread it around in the world out there. Nice meeting you two. Take care. Nice meeting you. Thank so nice you so much. You. Bye. Thank you.